On Monday, July 24th, Pikeville Police responded to a call regarding a man with a gun-related injury. The incident occurred in the residential area on the Pikeville Bypass, causing the road to become temporarily closed as first responders arrived on the scene. The suspect, Timothy Newsom of Virgie, has since been taken into custody and the weapon was seized. At approximately 1323 hours, uh, Pikeville PD received a call through their dispatch center that a male subject appeared to have a gunshot wound on North Bypass Road. Um, officers arrived within a minute to the scene. Fire departments on scene also uh, located a male um, with a wound to the head. He advised us that he had been shot. The units located another male subject matching the description that was given to us by the uh, victim. Cancer, it's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it through the day. Make it through the day. Eyewitness reports and drones assisted Pikeville Police in tracking and arresting the suspect. The victim is currently being treated at Pikeville Medical Center. We, we had the drone out. We had uh, at least 10, 12 officers there, not including FD had uh, numerous units also. So um, as far as safety with the public, I think that was contained quickly. Uh, put the drone in the air, which is a very useful tool um, to find out if there are more suspects at large. Uh, officers made a quick, got the suspect and uh, put him in custody and put him in the back of one of our vehicles very quickly. I think uh, that we have a very safe city uh, compared to other places, um, but we have a high police presence and also patrol, and our administration makes sure that we have safe for the people that work here, safe for people that live here. Uh, so that's what we pride ourselves on. This is a rare occurrence in the city of Pikeville. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.